Can you tell us about CVS as a company? Sure. Uh, we are uh, one of the largest uh, pharmacy retailers in the world. Uh, we um, service uh, millions of uh, patients and customers uh, throughout um, our 7,300 stores. Um, we're a $100 million uh, company that um, is in the Fortune 25 category. Um, we are also an end-to-end -end healthcare provider. Uh, not only do we have our retail locations, we also have uh, um, our PBM Caremark, which merged uh, a couple of years ago and provides um, a pharmacy benefit management process. So we are truly an end-to-end -end business that, that starts with the retail environment and then ends with how we manage our customers' um, our prescriptions. Can you tell us about CVS shrink challenges? Sure. Uh, there, there are obviously many uh, shrink challenges that, that we face, um, both in the front store and the pharmacy side. Obviously, in the front store, we, we certainly have our share of category-specific shrink challenges that include uh, cosmetics, um, include hair care products, uh, skin care, uh, certainly our highest shrink categories that uh, we are constantly looking at innovations to, to reduce and control loss. Um, so what are CVS goals uh, to actually reduce shrink uh, in the most uh, sensitive, for the most sensitive product? Well, we always um, want to be able to offer uh, the, the retail stores uh, the highest quality and most innovative product protection solutions that uh, clearly um, Checkpoint's been able to deliver um, some of the most innovative um, solutions in the industry. Um, our goals are to, to control it um, and understanding that we'll never completely eliminate it, but uh, managing um, our shrink rates better than the year before and achieving uh, the budgets that we anticipate um, will have um, are always our priorities and, and certainly exceeding the budget is, uh, is, is always a focus and a plus. Can you tell us about uh, CVS partnership with Checkpoint? Sure. Um, our partnership with Checkpoint uh, spans uh, a number of years. I believe we entered in our, our relationship back in 2004 when we converted um, from a previous um, relationship into checkpoints, and it has been um, an outstanding partnership. Uh, John Peterson and um, Aaron and Jillian are, are members of our team that have helped us over the years with a number of solutions and um, that we've deployed and, and clearly have been uh, part of our success. And uh, we know that external uh, theft um, liabilities that are out there are a major influence on the total company shrink number, and, and John and company have been uh, a tremendous support uh, to our team, and uh, we owe much of our success to that relationship. Uh, what about the latest checkpoint solutions implemented? Uh, in store? Certainly. We have, um, I'll start with our EAS program, which um, has been uh, a program that we've, um, I guess, uh, sampled um, um, over the years a number of different strategies. And the, the clear tag um, solution with the store location uh, has been one that has been highly effective for us in the fight against organized retail crime. And then you have the circuited EAS tag that we've also deployed that manages locally our, our theft, internal or external theft liabilities. And combining those two um, has been uh, not only innovative, but highly effective in managing not only our external theft, but also our exposures to um, organized retail crime, given that we've consolidated both, both tags. So that's one. The next one is, I would say, is our Alpha Keeper program, which uh, in many ways reshaped the way we present our, our shaving category. And we've evolved from a, a solution that is not uh, very customer friendly uh, and, and impacted shopability negatively to a solution that I think protects the product just as effectively, um, but also uh, provides um, shopability and a presentation that is important in any retail environment. What about uh, the uh, reduction in shrink after implementing those solutions? Well, the key, the key um, measurement that we like to see is clearly um, shrink reduction. But if you couple that with a, an increase in sales, um, that's 
that's what we really truly want to see in any retailer. So we have seen uh, in both those category an increase in sales um, and then a, a significant decrease in shrink, which um, makes uh, the return on the investment um, highly uh, effective with regard to garnering more capital and resources in order to continue to be innovative with product protection. Security is very important in the pharmaceutical business, so how do you work with the authorities, including the DEA? Certainly. Um, I, I think that in retail, many of our programs and departments are, are similar. Uh, I think that with pharmacy, it, it's a segment that uh, clearly is highly regulated and is regulated by a number of you know, agencies, whether it be local or federal, and, and the DEA certainly is, is one of the more dominant regulatory agencies that governs many of the things we do in the pharmacy. So it's, it's one of those environments where uh, you have to be obviously very, very efficient and, and very critical of, of a loss prevention strategy that's built around being efficient and, um, and being very diligent around investigations, which uh, is, is certainly a differentiator uh, among other you know, non-pharmacy related uh, retailers. Um, is there something else you'd like to add? No, I would, I would just say that um, we've been very appreciative of the partnership and as I said it's been a, a major part of our strategy um, and <coughs> also the people element of, um, of the relationship. We, we couldn't be happier with, with John and, and Jillian and Aaron and the support they've given us over the years so I'd like to thank them for that.